Hey, it's Tomas with Evitech, and today we're gonna have a look at the 2016 model of the Hybrid Goat 22T. The new snowplow for our 22T. There are little hiccups in it. As you can see, the blade moves back like that. We're gonna be adding some stops here shortly. And also, this little bracket here kind of collides, so we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be modifying that so that this is more smooth and can rotate. But Why do we need this spring right there? The spring allows the blade to move out of the way of a rock or a curb if it were to be hidden under the snow. And when if a rock were to come at the bottom of the blade here, the whole blade's going to rotate forward and it's going to go over the rock. And... As you may remember, this particular 22T comes with a platform for mounting certain attachments, not unlike the MAGA. Unlike the MAGA, however, it is a hybrid so that it can run on either fuel and electric or purely electric. Today, we're gonna have a look at the snowplow attachment. Now the powder has cured right into the metal, making it a very durable to last a long, long time. As you can see, the snowplow works with a precise linear actuator that can withstand a dynamic load of up to 110 pounds and a static load of 500 pounds. The snowplow also comes with a trip spring that can help dispel the impact of any objects that are low to the ground, such as the edge of a curb. All right, let's fire it up and see what it can do. So now that the plow has been painted, we're going to start by uh, assembling it onto this 22T. Uh, this is the first piece that we're going to have. Alright, so now that we have the, uh, the first mounting bracket, we're going to put on the, uh, the other, the next bracket. This is... Alright, so now we're getting ready to test, or to attach the next piece. Um, again, this has the, uh, the holes for an array, and this will have the... Alright, so now we're going to mount the actuator. Quarter 20. All right, so now we're going to take a step away from the unit and we're going to put the plow together. So we have our hinges, we have our washers, and we have our mount for the spring. So the washers are going to go on the, uh, the snow side of the plow. All right, so that's the end of the mechanical install. Uh, now we've got to wire up the actuator, wire up the rest of this unit, and we're going to get some testing done. Uh, we don't have any snow here, unfortunately, in Florida, but we can push around a little sand, maybe a pallet or two. Hi, I'm Greg, and I'm the uh, Electronic Brain Master Technician here at Evatech. And uh, today we're going to be testing out the uh, linear actuator that uh, Will had helped install. And so we have just here a tool. As I said before, it can run on hybrid or purely electric power. Now that we're done talking about it, let's see it in action.
That was a little too easy. Let's knock it up a little. Two pallets. Two cinder blocks. Okay, seriously, enough messing around. Why don't we push a dumpster as well? As you can see, the 22T snowplow has some pretty impressive pushing power.